Using a MIDI controller to control the Light Shark is easy. The first thing you need to do is download the mapping file for your specific MIDI controller from the official Light Shark website. Next, we'll want to go ahead and connect to the Light Shark. Make sure you've placed your USB drive into the Light Shark's USB port labeled Data. If it's an LS Core, there's only one USB port. Now, go to the Light Shark's web interface, head to the menu here, and then go to the File Manager. If we click over to USB, we can see the contents of our USB drive, and right here is the .lsmidi file that we downloaded from the Light Shark website. We're going to go ahead and press Import, and then press the LS MIDI file. Once we see the success message, we can now exit out of the file manager. Perfect. Now we'll go to our settings menu right here and go to the MIDI setup tab. Because our USB drive is now no longer needed, we can unplug it from the data port and plug in our MIDI controller. Now we'll see it show up in the device space and we can press to load our template. Now, I've already loaded it, but when you press to load it and then press OK, you'll watch it load successfully here in the template box. Perfect. Now you're ready to go. It's really that simple. Press exit, and you can see here, as I move the fader on my nano control, the example here, the faders move on the light shark. Not only that, but if I have multiple cues, I can go ahead and press the buttons on the nano control to cycle through, stop, and flash my cues. On this particular MIDI controller, the function of the buttons mirrors what happens on an LS1. 